Ah, oh, look, steam. Uh, can't remember the last time I had a 14 incher. <laughs> This is a Mercedes-Benz A-Class, also known as the car people love to buy on finance. Those who drive these things either sell houses for a living. Here it is, the one bedroom flat I told you about. It's a store cupboard. Think of it more as potential. Okay, bye. Or work in sales. ABC people, always be closing, always be closing. So I've taken it upon myself to remind everyone of the cool old cars we should be buying instead. Which is why I'm with the guys at Four Star Classics to revisit my favorite decade of cars, the 80s. Where boxy was beautiful, pop-ups were popular, and where automotive designers experimented with shark nose, cheese wedge, and blunt force trauma front ends. Take this Range Rover, for example. I bet the first thing you thought was, if that hits me at 30 miles an hour, will I die? Closely followed by, I love it. How much? And just look at this thing as big as an elephant probably as heavy and to answer your question yes if this thing hit you at 30 miles an hour you definitely would die then there's one of my all-time favorite cars the bmw m635 csi this is 1980s pornography at its finest Meanwhile, on the other side of the world, Japanese performance cars of the 80s looked like this. The R32 GTR dominated the Japanese Touring Car Championship, winning 29 races from 29 starts, taking the series title every year from 1989 to 1993. It's a 1980s Japanese icon with a twin turbocharged straight six, which leads me very nicely onto our very own Japanese icon of the 80s, that away. Except it doesn't have a turbo or even a manual gearbox. But it is really cool and features rear wheel steering. So allow me to introduce my new alternative daily of the 1980s. Yep, it's a 1989 Honda Prelude and in this brand new series, it's my mission to get more of you guys buying cool old cars like this. Ah, oh, look, steam. Uh, oh, hello. Brake fluid. Brake fluid, yeah, because I've been slamming on the brakes, haven't I? That'll be it, yeah. That, that will be it. Let's just let that dry off a little bit. So is our aim to get more people to buy old cars? Yes. <laughs> anyway, that's a little behind the scenes with Alex and team. Now, back to the really slick video. So the interior of the Prelude is something that excites me deeply. First of all, we've got a really basic steering wheel, but a nice big badge saying four wheel steering, just to remind us how cool this car is. All the dials, all the knobs are simple. Everything comes straight to hand. You want to open the electric sunshine roof? There it is. We have a cassette player. And the coolest thing as well has got to be the automatic gear knob. It's like a 1980s console. It's like pew, 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 pew. One thing that I love more than anything is visibility. Obviously the dashboard on this is so low. So you know the extremities of the car and the rear visibility is incredible as well. It's so good in fact that when you look in your rear view mirror, you can pretty much stare into the soul of the person behind you. Ooh. So it's fair to say that I bloody love cool old cars like this. The Honda Prelude, four wheel steering, two liter engine with an automatic gearbox. I haven't bothered looking at the specs because I don't care. Power is not the point with this alternative daily driver. The point is 
to have something that's completely unique, something that's comfortable, something cool, and there's something that if you wanted to, you could modify the hell out of. Which isn't what this series was going to focus on originally, but after driving this thing two days ago, we've got to make our Prelude as awesome as possible, right? I paid £970 for this very car, and okay, it needs a little bit of work. If you look on the exterior, you might notice that it needs, what is it? Oh yeah, a full respray. Now, if I were to get that done professionally, probably be looking at 1500 quid, 2000 pounds. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do a DIY respray. In terms of how this car actually feels as a car, it's quite wallowy. The brakes are disgustingly spongy. Oh, I feel like I'm putting my foot on a dog poop. The ride on the Prelude is super comfortable. We've got 14 inch wheels, 14 inches. I can't remember the last time I had a 14 incher. <laughs> it's a car that makes me happy. And I don't mean happy because I get to drive fast everywhere and oh, you can feel the road on your fingertips. No, I mean happy because I'm comfortable and I can chill out. We also need a name for this car. Why don't you guys jump in the comments, give this Prelude a name, and then we'll put it up in a poll for next time. It's just so 80s it hurts, I love it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this glorious first episode of Living With An Alternative Daily Driver. To subscribe to Car Throttle, click on this link to check out more episodes on Car Throttle. It's down here. And to check out the shop, it's over there. Good night, Ethan. Why are you shaking your head? I've done it wrong. It's fine.